Hello everyone. So I know it's been a long time since I've gone live and I've been really, really feeling the call to come back with you all. And um, as we are all going through this, this process of awakening and um, sharing our gifts with this world, we go through stages of, you could say, um, ascension or enlightenment. And, and so for me, for the last mm, probably eight months, I've been experiencing definitely a dark night of the soul. It's just been like one thing after another. And it's really humbled me. It's really brought me to this place of surrendering all of the false self, surrendering all of the things that I was grasping to, um, you know, to find my, my specialness. And so right now, um, I actually did an event a couple of weeks ago and several people were asking me to start teaching again. And when we go through these, these dark nights of the soul, it's like we start to think that we have nothing to, to offer the world. But right now I can feel this, this calling on all of us for us to come out more, for us to share our gifts with this world. And it's interesting because, oh, it looks like I just got kicked off of YouTube. That's so weird. Hold on, guys. Okay, that's so weird. <laughs> Um, hmm. it's saying I'm on YouTube here, but it just kicked me off on this one page. Maybe it doesn't want me to see. So, um, yeah, this last year I've, um, I've just experienced like one thing after another. Um, and it's been in incredibly difficult to come back out and, the beautiful part is that, you know, I, amidst all of this chaos and almost dying and all of this, I did write my book, which is Unhooked, 40 Days to Breaking the Chains of Addiction. And um, it's like a lifeline. It's, it's, it's a way to break free from any of the barriers that we've been experiencing. And, um, and so I have been asked to start teaching again. So if you, any of you guys are interested, I haven't even um, advertised it, but I will be teaching my um, my Soul Ray Harmonics healing course once again. If you guys are interested in that, you can comment Soul Ray below and I will send you a link and we can have a conversation about it. Um, and so what was really coming up for me recently is we just moved and um, and experiencing finally like um, a calm right like there's been nothing but trials and tribulations but now it's to this place where it's like peaceful and um, things are going so good and our new neighborhood is so welcoming and I was feeling the call for a while to get out of Sedona. I felt the call to come to Sedona for a very specific reason. And then once that time period was over, Sedona was like, now you need to leave. This is sacred land. And we are to come there to gather to have ceremony. And a lot of us can't really experience a life of ceremony. In Sedona, it's about three days to every one day everywhere else. So it's you're in this constant um, vortex, this constant um, energy expansion, and so much can happen in a little amount of time. And I'm not, I'm not saying that we aren't co-creators or that we are powerless to um, where we live, but. It is important for us to listen when we are guided. And 
I was being guided for quite some time, like it is time to leave. Come to Sedona to have ceremony, um, but don't, don't live here. And so as soon as we left, as soon as we got out of Sedona, um, we're not that far away from Sedona now, but we started to experience blessings. We started to experience just this, this welcoming within the community. And one of the things that I, I gravitated towards Sedona for was the community aspect. There, it felt like in 2020, there were so many of us that were called there to, to create the first, you know, crystal city of light and all of these light workers and angelic helpers were all there and we were all co-creating and then you know um, life happened and things started to um, go their separate ways you could say and when it comes to making money there it's like the price of, the price of living is you're paying tourist prices and then, you know, if you're a spiritual teacher and or you're a healer, you're only working with the collective that is coming in from other places, which can be beautiful. But if you are, you know, attempting to create a community that can all rise together, it's kind of hard to do that when you're just working you know, with one person at a time and then they're going away. And what I saw within the community in Sedona was that there's, you know, what you go to, when I would go to the women's circle every month, it's like you're sitting in this room with like some of the most powerful, amazing um, healers and teachers and we all have these gifts and there wasn't a lot of working together with those gifts because we're all serving a demographic of people that aren't in that room. And so that that made this like gap within the community. And it and it's sad to me. It's sad to me um, that I couldn't have done more while I was there, but I do feel like everything happens for a reason. And so right now I, I'm just experiencing coming back out. And so I just did my first event a few weeks ago and that was an interesting experience because I can look back to my videos in 2020 or 2021 or even 2022 and there was a disconnect with the physical there was because when we see people who are spiritually evolved normally that happens through trauma it happens because we don't feel safe in our own bodies and so you know maybe in childhood we're escaping to the non-physical realms and we're finding our solace there and so that can make us extremely tuned in to the etheric realms but then disconnected from our bodies or disconnected from you know the the 3d realm you know um i i am all for like quantum healing and all of that and i totally believe in it but there comes this this need for us to get down to like the grassroots and the, the core of what the issues are and not to just spiritually bypass. And so um, I feel like we are all going through and you guys feel free to comment about what you guys have been experiencing because we are walking similar paths, especially if you're attracted to to my content or to me personally and there's been this 
this um, back and forth with me because I know that through my sharing, it's helped so many people. But at the same time, there was an escaping to share online and not have actual physical relationships because of you know just being hurt and being scared of people and connections and or having connections that just continue to repeat patterns that aren't that are not fun so now it's about um, coming back out and and integrating all of um, the spiritual wisdom that we have and also being able to walk here in the physical not disconnected from our bodies and um, and being able to like be that light no matter where you are and so <clears throat> right now where we are we are um, starting up a meetup group to meet once a month to pick up trash at the local parks and um, at first when this was brought to my attention I was like that doesn't sound like very much fun, but it's needed. And and so, um, hello, it's good to see you. Thank you for joining my life. Um, it's needed, and so like in your communities, what is needed? What, what kind of uh, meetup group can you start? And um, how can you start to come out more? And be very mindful. Like, I know that we all have bills to pay. I know that um, we all have a community of people to serve. But if we're only focused on that, then it disconnects us from our actual work here. And, um, and I've experienced quite a few times in my life where um, I ask God, what is next for me? <laughs> I ask God, what is next for me? And I get like, I, I get a message like, write the book. And I'm like, but that's not going to pay my bills. And how am I going to write a book in, in a short amount of time? And, and all of those, those questions, they're not for us. Um, when we get that guidance, when we get guidance that we need to move a certain place or we need to visit a certain place or we need to do this or that, it can come through and feel like, you know, like, how am I going to do that? Or that doesn't seem logical, but it's, it's those moments that we surrender to that allow for our, our biggest breakthroughs. Um, it allows for, um that divine co-creation to happen. And so just ask yourself, you know, have you been feeling called to, to move or to create something that you don't feel is, is logical? Um, how have you been blocking yourself from receiving divine inspiration? Yeah, and how how have you allowed trauma, because we've all ex experienced trauma, ex especially with, you know, uh, 2020. Every single person on this planet has experienced that collective trauma. And it made us scared of one another. And I'm, I'm happy that we are to a point now where we don't have to, we're not scared to give each other hugs. Um, or maybe some of us still are scared to give each other hugs, but I feel like that was all created as a distraction to keep us separated, to keep us fearing one another, when the flip side of everything that we experienced with 2020 was showing us how incredibly connected we all are, and how if we, we just take a moment to go inside every once in a while. Like imagine if every single person on the planet took two weeks to just be meditative and not going out and destroying the earth and constantly consuming things, we would see um, our planet regenerate so quickly. 
And so I was really feeling the call to, to share with all of you and to come back because I know that when I share my journey that it helps those who are walking similar paths. And if you don't feel like you're walking a similar path, just try to see how your ego is blocking you from seeing how you are like everyone else, how everything that you're experiencing is a reflection of some part of your consciousness. And, um, and then also, what is your baseline? So for instance, I have been experiencing a lot of trauma um, since last summer. Um, it's just been like hit after hit. And then finally, um, around the first of this year, everything slowed down and it wasn't, um, like I started to experience goodness and, um, it was scary to come back out. And, but recently I was noticing that, you know, we just got this, this beautiful house and I'm, I'm, I have this beautiful life and I was noticing that I normally experience like a traumatic life or things are are hard to experience and I'm always you know smiling or um, staying on the on the brighter side and seeing the positive intention for things that don't feel so good and I was noticing that I was starting to like just be angry for no reason when everything was good. And I was like, oh, this is happening because my baseline is normally chaos. It's normally um, trauma. And I stay happy because if not, then, you know, all hell would break loose. Everything would go to shit. And so now that everything is is good it's like the baseline is to the ego wants to make you unhappy about nothing and so it's important for us to look at those things and to look at like what our baseline is like when you have uh, a baseline of of trauma in your childhood that makes you an incredible healer because most people can't function when there's chaos or when there's trauma or when, you know, um, people are hurt. But when that's your baseline and you've healed from it, you're able to thrive in those situations. And so everything can be a blessing or a curse, depending on our level of consciousness. And, um, and so I just keep hearing it's time for us all to to share our, our uniqueness with the world and to not be afraid when we've been humbled. For instance, I feel that for a while I was hiding behind past lives and, and then all of my jewelry started breaking and um, my partner actually pointed out it was because that I, I was like hiding behind, um, you know, needing these external things to make me complete. And, and even hiding behind the esoteric or our past lives. And it's like, just be here now. Just be here in this present moment and and don't be afraid to, to share, but do it from a place of wanting to be helpful. And notice when we're bypassing or we're running away to other realms instead of being here in the present moment. So um, I just wanted to tell you all that I will, I will be sharing, but I'm finding a happy medium where I share the things that I feel are useful and not escaping to technology and um, being here in my present life. So 
Um, if you guys want to work with me, you can send me an email at Kendra Divine Purpose Mentor. Um, no way. You can send me an email at Kendra Divine Mother Ministry at gmail.com.